um, and I think I probably talked to some of you yesterday a little bit. Think in your own household right now that you're looking at next year's income coming in, and you say, okay, I know we have certain expenses that we have to pay. We've got to pay the mortgage. We've got to pay the telephone bill. We've got to do all these things. But you're sitting there setting up a budget, and then what you say is, well, I'm going to plan next year to spend $800 for fuel oil. When you know that this year you spent $1,200 because it went up by $400, you can't automatically just say, well, we're only going to spend $800 just because you want to make that number work. You have to really budget for what you believe it's going to cost you. And so you're shortchanging yourself up front, and at the end of next year, you've got to come back and say, I've got a bill here. <laughs> I've got to pay it. And that's what this budget that they have presented does. And it short changes in areas that are already required by law that we fund Medicaid, pharmacy, health care. Those are the things that we have to pay for.